So this is our this is our newest candidate. We caught her two days ago. Uh, she's 89 kilos, and she would probably be in the range of 50 to 60 years of age. A lone female Nechaco white sturgeon, just part of Wayne Selesky's plan to save the endangered species by repairing the Nechaco River watershed. Uh, they were born in May of last year, so they're a year old now. Wayne is our tour guide at the Nechaco White Sturgeon Conservation Center in Vanderhoof, B.C. The mysterious fish date back to the dinosaurs. They are the largest freshwater fish in Canada. So we create the spawn event. But now, the Nechaco White Sturgeon, a fish that has survived over millions of years, is on the brink of extinction. Uh, we're not trying to pretend that this is going to cure the problem. Uh, but these fish will, over the next 50 years, they'll spawn and reproduce and do everything. But our challenge still is to find out what's wrong in the river that we're not getting the natural recruitment. Some scientists believe there could be fewer than 300 sturgeon left, the vast majority over 40 years old. Experts believe the lack of younger fish means sturgeons aren't reproducing, or the young are not surviving to adulthood. The sturgeon don't spawn until their 20s, so the lack of young fish suggests an entire generation is already missing. Work in this hatchery is hoping to reverse that trend. You know, we would have thought maybe it was going to take a little bit more time. The health of local waterways also has a role in the sturgeon's survival, requiring a cleanup of Stony Creek. Now you've got this natural stream going underneath a bridge instead of being backed up and the sediment backing up. And this has not flowed like this for 20 years. This is a first. Stony Creek flows through Vanderhoof and into the Nechaco River, where spawning beds of white sturgeon and Chinook salmon are located. Just last year, Stony Creek was an unhealthy habitat. There used to be three culverts here, choking off water flow. The creek banks were failing, and the riverbed was clogged with dirt and debris. This acted as a natural dam, so this was identified as a process that basically we wanted to come in here, remove the culverts. Culverts aren't good for fish passage, not at all, and have a free-flowing river. And it had backed up water and sediment, and we took it all out. And Not only was the bridge replaced, the rehabilitation project includes replanting the riverbanks, restoring the mouth of the stream, and creating a healthier fish habitat. Sediment uh, basically inhibits good fish uh, culture, eliminates a lot of uh, uh, food sources for the fish, and basically chokes your system and allows the weed species to get in. For the first time in years, the deep pools in the creek bed are now ready for fish to overwinter. If our aquifers are, 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 are healthy, we believe industry can be really successful. We believe the consumer also wants a product that comes from a healthy watershed. With help from the local sawmill and area businesses, including a $10,000 contribution from TransCanada, Stony Creek is slowly being restored. Wow, when you actually see the tangible difference that uh, you know, a project like this makes and, and, and hearing the stories about uh, uh, actually having fish fry coming back into the, to the ecosystem here, it's, it's just, uh, you know, gets you excited to, uh, to, you know, to get up in the morning and, and do your job and, and connect with community partners like uh, Nechaco Environment and Water Stewardship Society. Kyle Sherwin is the environmental lead for the Coastal GasLink Pipeline Project a proposed LNG pipeline that would be constructed across northern British Columbia. With Coastal GasLink as a project, it's important to look for partnerships with communities and with uh, certain initiatives such as this one, for example, um, that, uh, that aligns with our beliefs for um, integrity of the environment, specifically uh, protection and, and preservation of the environment. In a nutshell, that's what it is. It looks like it's a lot of rock and trees and debris, but it's all purposely uh, put in place. Work on the Stony Creek Rehabilitation Project is already showing positive results in a healthier habitat. But it will take years of hard work to rebuild the Nechaco white sturgeon stocks, and perhaps decades before we learn if the ancient species will survive. The health of this system and the 30 other systems that we're going to be working on is gradually going to get better. 
the more times that we get those fish, those species coming back to our systems, will show that the system is getting healthier and healthier and healthier.